Things that we take for granted, um, you know, can take a, a disabled person extra time and consideration and planning. Uh, and, to, and to have that blue badge is so important. And the level of abuse and misuse uh, across the whole of the UK, not, not just in, in Norfolk, uh, is unacceptable. In many counties in the United Kingdom, the fraudsters are out there using their blue badges. One of the problems when you park beside somebody who allegedly is disabled is working out if they are in fact the badge holder. Now for security reasons the departments right across the UK don't display a photograph on the front of the badge, that's displayed on the back. So how do you know if the person using the badge is entitled to use that badge? Well there's a simple test. So let's look at this card in detail. You'll see the number of the card, which is 231EE001257X. And this is where we get our information. 1257X relates to a male, the X chromosome, who was born in December 1957. The 1220 at the end of the serial number and the other numbers 231EEO relate to identifying factors that will give an indication as to where the badge has been issued and these are for departmental references. So let's look at this badge, it's from West Sussex, it expires in 2015 but look at the registration number or the unique number 1135X. I'm fairly certain that's a man born in November 1935 and X is for the male. So that's a male holder of that card. Here we have another card. And if we look at the number 0470Y, that's a lady born in 1970. And the last two numbers, the last four numbers in fact, are 0216 and they correlate with the date of expiry. 02, which is the month, and 1-6. So we know that it expires in February 2016. Now, when we go back to this card, we look at the dates again. 1257X 20 or 1220. Now, my card expires in the 12th month of 2020. And when we look at the serial number, 12th month 2020. So that gives an indication of the expiry month and the expiry year. So the next time somebody's in one of those bays and you want to check, have a look at the badge and look for the X and look for the Y and look for an approximate age. That way you should be able to see if they're cheating or not.